it's crazy what I'm fixing to say, y'all. But do you know the holidays are just around the corner? Thanksgiving and Christmas is just around the corner. So we thought maybe an appetizer would be nice to share with y'all today. And uh, I love this one that I'm fixing to share with y'all. In fact, it's in uh, Cooking with Paula Dean magazine and it is on the stands right now. And it's uh, turnip green and bacon dip with pull apart bread. Looks delicious, doesn't it? It is yes. delicious, y'all. So, that's what I wanna share with y'all today. We're gonna start off, uh, you'll need like a 10 ounce Iron skillet works real good. Uh, if you don't have a cast, a 10 inch cast iron, you can use, I guess, anything that you can put in the oven. So, I'm gonna start with four slices of bacon, finely chopped. So we're gonna let that cook until it's brown and kind of crisp. And then we're gonna throw in some onions. And then we're gonna throw in some turnip greens, some fresh turnip greens. And uh, I think the recipe calls for about five cups, but you know, turnip greens wilt down to nothing. So you can buy like a, a bunch, you know, that's already bunched up, or you can buy them in the bag that's already washed and and cut, but the only thing is, if you buy them like that, uh, you'll have to go through and de stem them because I, I just don't like a lot of stems in my greens. These are very pretty, and that probably cooked down it probably won't make a cup. All right, these are a going now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drain these, but we're gonna need that fat to uh, flavor those turnip greens. All right, I'm gonna try to drain this because I want that fat in there for flavor. I'm just gonna try to mash a little of that out. So next we're going to add our onions. Stir those around for a second. And then chop very nice and fine so those won't take but a second to cook. And now I'm going to add our turnip greens. And we're gonna cook these for about three, anywhere from three to five minutes. Over oh, kind of a medium heat. I've got it on medium high, so I'm gonna cut that down just a little bit. And if your uh, bacon didn't render much fat, which our bacon didn't render a whole bunch of fat. So, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> to help it along, a little dab of butter. This is gonna be so tasty, y'all. I think you're gonna really like this recipe. Turnip greens 
are a thinner green, a lot, a lot thinner than a collard green. Uh, a collard green is definitely more dense. And if you start with this many collards, then you'll have about that many collards. If you start with that many turnip greens, you're gonna have this many turnip greens. <laughs> so they're a lot denser, collards are versus the turnip green. And turnips have a little slight bitter taste to them. Do you ever make a, like a wilted um, green salad? No, I never have. Have you, Eddie? I think well, my friend, you know, Lee, his, but yeah. his grandmother would make something in it. I think she made like a dressing with like yeah. maybe apple cider and uh -huh, bacon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. In bacon grits, yeah, <laughs> kind of like a hot, hot uh, bacon dressing. Yeah. Over wilted greens. All right, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, and then we're gonna turn back over here to our counter, and we are gonna put the stuff together that is gonna make this so tasty. So I've got four ounces of softened cream cheese. We've got mayonnaise. We've got sour cream. And we got some more stuff too, but I just want to get the creamy things mixed up. You got your uh, eye on those turnips? I sure do. Thank you. Okay, so you could actually do this with a little hand mixer if you wanted to, but if your cream cheese is soft enough, you can work it just like this. So good. You know what'd be good now in here? Some Roquefort cheese. And a little dash of red wine vinegar. Ooh, you would have some good, good uh, dressing. Okay. Now we're gonna add garlic powder. It didn't take them but a second to get dry in these little bowls. Uh, eighth of a teaspoon, no, a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper. And an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. Parmesan cheese. And white cheddar cheese. Now, in the, uh, in the magazine, it calls for canned breadsticks. And I have seen those on occasion. Have you, Kari, seen the can, the breadsticks that come in the can, like the canned biscuits? But our grocery store did not have them. But they had some frozen bread knots in the bread freezer. And these are gonna work out just perfect. I'm just gonna tear those in two and kind of mash them down. And that's what we're gonna um, put around our ingredients, our turnip green mixture. Are those ready, Therese? I think you're pretty close. Okay. And Aunt Peggy is um, here and she's, uh -huh, she's moving about because there's um, been some requests for us to do her sweet potato casserole and sweet potato souffle. So she's actually gonna show us how she makes it. And she just happens to be in town to do it. She just happens to be in town. Whoa. Mm. Ooh, those turnip greens taste good. Got a little tart to them. 
Now I'm gonna mix our bacon in with our ingredients right here. I could eat this just like this. Yeah, I mean, breadsticks. I, I would be so happy if I was visiting someone and they served us for I know, <laughs> I know. It's really, really good. In go, goes our turnip greens. <laughs> Eddie about got them out of reach for me. <laughs> I think he thought I was gonna sit the sit the pan down like that. <laughs> Okie dokie. See how simple that was. And if you wanted to, you know, you can. Uh, buy frozen turnip greens in those little bitty boxes. Yeah, I think it's like a 10 ounce box. If you can't find any fresh greens, you could certainly use that. The only thing is that you'd want to squeeze thaw them out and squeeze them real good because in the freezing process, they get frozen with a lot of water in them. So you'd want to squeeze that water out. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put our knots. Excuse me, Eddie, I'm gonna reach over you. These work better cutting them. These are pretty little knots. Uh, if you can find the breadsticks in the can, you would, that, you would, you would take the, them. yeah, you have to twist them. This is easier. To get the knots. Yes, it is. It surely is, sister. And it comes two to a pack. Mm -hmm. two, so six in total. And I yeah. think that's all you're really going to need. Yeah, so then you're really only cooking uh, yeah. until it kind of is yeah, bubbling yeah, a little just bit. Gonna, that's well, we're going to cook it for bread. 25 minutes, for about 25 minutes. And we may need to cook it covered for a while. I need like one more half a knot. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hungry. And these have garlic on them. Mm, so this mm. is a little bit more flavor. Profile. Yes, a little bit more garlic. Yum. Mm. So now we're gonna take our turnip green filling and we're just gonna put it right down there in the middle of our bread knots. Huh. Kind of like that spinach dip in a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, kind of in a way. With just a fall feel. Uh huh. Yes. I'm gonna get the rest of that. Y'all know I am. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna cook this in a 375 degree oven for about 20 or 25 minutes. And like I said, at some point, we may need to uh, put some tin foil over it, Teresa, and so cover it so, so the bread won't get so brown. Okay, I'm gonna carry that but, for you. Oh, okay, thank you. Cause that's nice and heavy. Yum. So all to the oven we go. Our turnip green dip is hot, and uh, I recommend that you let this sit for about 10 minutes because it will take the skin off the roof of your mouth. And this is very, very hot. 
but look how good that looks. Is that, it's a beautiful presentation. More, uh, a little rustic looking, mm -hmm. but it's. It smells phenomenal. Well, come around here and grab you a knot. <laughs> My knots. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. And he's got to come off his diet. This is ridiculous. I know. I'm telling you, I can't hardly wait for him to say, okay, I'm not doing that diet anymore. <laughs> I don't know that that's ever going to happen. That's oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> I know his doctor is going to say, get off that, boy. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. And so good. The turnip green, the flavor of the turnip green really comes through. You know, I told you it was almost had a little bitter, little twang to it. Oh my gosh. But it's it's a good, mm -hmm. it's a good twang. Mm. And these knots turned out perfect. Mm. So don't have, don't worry about your cans, just go to the... In fact, Teresa, I would recommend this. Yeah, because it's got the garlic and butter already mm -hmm. on it. It's got the garlic, ow! <laughs> Mm. This this would be a fun thing to have at like Creek House or an appetizer. Or I something. know, wouldn't it? We may so need to. Mm, mm. Yum yum. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't fool with canned breadsticks, y'all. I'd look for the garlic, buttered, frozen bread, knots. K N O T S. Because <laughs> these work out perfect. Because there's really not a whole lot of cooking no. to them, just getting them hot and brown. And you don't have to turn them and twist them and do mm -hmm. all that. This mm -hmm. It's already done. Mm -hmm. And that bacon, do you taste that bacon? Oh my gosh. You, you uh, prep that bacon perfectly. I've got to learn from the best. <laughs> the size was perfect and I liked um, not cooking them totally crisp because I like leaving them with flavor still, yes. still in there. That's the mm. bomb. You'll be the hit of your cocktail party or dinner or whatever you're having. So, happy Thanksgiving, happy Christmas, happy Halloween. Just happy, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Love and best dishes, yum. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.